Okay, you guys, I'm back here in the garage working on the uh, fender. And just a small update on the fender. Uh, down here where I repaired the, the rust patch, I've got this sanded pretty good and feather edged. And um, with, um, I think I started with 40 grit and then uh, 80 and then 180 and then I, I gave it a pass with some uh, 220 I believe it was so it's pretty nice and smooth here um, I think I got a low spot uh, right in here high spot here maybe but it feels feels pretty good I was gonna get some guide coat and go over it and then just kinda do a final maybe with another 220 over that and I did manage to get the skim coat over this total area here uh, never done this before so I kinda made a, a little bit of a mess uh, didn't do a very good job running here but it doesn't need any here it mainly was uh, in this area I believe and then I had some couple of low spots around here and here somewhere so a lot of this still has to come off and kind of met, messed up on the last batch I made of a uh, body filler. The, I had some hardener that I had been using, and it it is kind of not really of a cream. It wasn't too much of a cream hardener anymore. And when I used it, I squirted it out. And it ha kind of had like some. Um, I guess it was going bad is what I'm trying to say it didn't mix up in the bundle well and as you can see you can see the little specks of, I don't know if you can see it right there you'll see a little specks of blue and that's the hardener that didn't mix well the hard the hardener was kind of gritty I guess is what I'm trying to say it wasn't it wasn't a smooth cream hardener I guess it's been in the garage too long with the heat and cold and so I'm hoping I can get that off and I hope that won't be a problem. Uh, I've sanded most of it off so I hope I won't run into a problem if I do have, you know, when we do paint this panel with those spots like that. Um, if anybody knows out there if that'll, if that'll uh, actually harm anything or if I can get most of it sanded off. There's one little blue spot right there. If that's going to cause a problem later on. Anyway, most of it's still, still got to come off. I've, I've got it pretty down pretty good. Um, of course, this part's coming down here all along. It's built up right in here, so I've still got to sand some of this off here. But uh, it is turning out pretty good after I get uh, most of it sanded off. I think right here's where I had my dent. But that's sanding out pretty good. So that there's the update on that. Um, I did have a question for anybody out there that's got more experience in body filler and stuff. Um, this area on top of the fender is really pretty good shape. I don't see any highs or lows uh, just by looking at it, but I, I do see a lot of. Um, Uh, I guess when I took stripped it down to bare metal, I did uh, had a 40 grit disc, which I hit it up here on top, and I kind of dug a little deep up, up there. So you see a little some scratches from the disc, and I'm just wondering if um, if I have to go over it with the skim coat or maybe the um, the 2K high build primer that I'm going to use will cover that up. Uh, if anybody knows out there, I'm hoping that that's what I that's that's what I'll have to do. Like I said, I don't really feel any any highs or lows. It's in pretty good shape. I don't see any dents up on it. I really would. I really don't want to give it another skim coat of bondo or body filler if I have to. But I do have, some, like I said, some deep scratches right in here from the 40 grit. Uh, paper. I, I did try to go over with the DA on 80 when before I primed 
before I did the epoxy primer, but they're still there, and it's mainly right in here, I guess where I dug that d disc in there. So, uh, if anybody out there knows, will uh, that 2K high build primer, will that build it up to where it'll seal, fill in those scratches? Uh, I'm thinking it will, but if anybody out there knows, um, they can let me know if that's that's probably the proper thing to do is just build it up or maybe even run some um, glazing putty instead of bondo just run some glazing putty over here uh, I did buy some glazing putty to run over uh, the, these low spots down here uh, maybe that'll take care of it some glazing putty I didn't, I didn't think about that just now but anybody if anybody knows out there uh, just leave a comment let me know what you think about it but uh, yeah it's getting uh, it's getting there it's in better shape than what it was before and so we'll go we'll go with that <clears throat> I did I did sand down to the bare metal on some areas uh, right there so I'll have to mix up a little bit of epoxy primer when I finish and then just hit the areas where the metal is exposed uh, just hit it back with some epoxy primer and then I'm gonna sand this area here uh, that's that area that I said that had some uh, like fish eyes or or orange peel so I'm just gonna sand it from here to here and then once I finish the fender I'm just gonna hit those spots with some epoxy primer and then and then call it good <clears throat> till I get it in 2k and then start blocking it but main thing I just want to get it finished and uh, maybe one coat of 2k and then just put it up and then continue on with the other, the other parts of the car but um, the fenders are getting close to being done and uh, actually I'm pretty happy with it. it turned out pretty good it is a lot of work sanding and doing that bottle body filler with a skim coat like that I, I don't really want to do that again on another panel it kind of wore me out it's it's a short it's a chore and uh, I don't want to have to do that I, I probably could have got away without doing that on this one but I did like I said have a lot of imperfections on especially in this area up in here and it was a learning experience so uh, if I can keep from doing it again I'll I won't do it again but anyway that's where I'm at on the fender and uh, thanks again guys for watching and uh, for all your comments and your subscriptions and probably do another update on it sometime in the middle of the week or next uh, next weekend so again guys thanks for watching and uh, let you go y'all have a good work week thanks